So in this video, I'm going to share a pro tip for all of the Amazon seller, which can literally save you a lot of money. Because on one side, while selling on the Amazon, you are putting too much effort in marketing, in PPC, in listing optimization, ranking your product organically on Amazon searches, so you can get more and more sales and get more and more profit. But on the other hand, many of these sellers are missing too many small points, which can just save them a lot of money. For example, fixing the Amazon standard inventory. So if you don't know what it is, then don't worry, I'm going to be explaining you each and everything in this video and I'm going to also show you how you can step by step save a lot of money. So when you're sending some shipments or inventory to your Amazon FBA store, so sometimes there can be some missing units from that inventory, some damaged units, some returned units or some discrepancies in your Amazon FBA shipment. For example, you have just sent 10 cartons of any product and every carton contains 10 products. So logically, there should be 100 units in that inventory, but sometime due to human error, one, two or maybe more units were lost or damaged and you might end up getting one or two units less. But in most of the cases, later when Amazon find those lost units, they can just add those units into discrepancies and those units will be at Amazon FBA warehouse, but they will not be showing in your Amazon inventory. So in that way, for example, you are having 5 to 10 units in total for all of the products and they will be at Amazon FBA warehouse but not showing or available to sell. So in that way, after 1 or 2 months, Amazon FBA will start going to charge you for the storage of all of those small units. So after several months, that amount will be huge. So to avoid that, you must need to fix your standard inventory every month and check for all of the missing units, damage units and discrepancies. So if you remove those unit or sell that unit again, so you can just get some money back by selling those unit and avoid paying extra storage fee to Amazon FBA to store those units. So in this video, let's see how you can fix that and if you do this practice for every month, so you can save a lot of money. But before getting started, I'm Uzair and I run multiple online businesses like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, affiliate marketing and YouTube that gives me financial freedom and allow me to travel the world without having any worry of 9 to 5 job. So if you also want this freedom to work remotely from anywhere in the world, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about online earning for free. And if you're confused at where to start, then you can just simply visit the link ways to sell onlinecom slash start. So you can just find some useful material from there and get a complete roadmap from where to start. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Amazon Seller Central now. So from there, you just need to go on Inventory and Manage Inventory. So this is the tab where you can see all of your products and on the listing tool, you can see that there are multiple links like for all inventory, FBA dashboard, remove unfulfilled inventory, search suppress and inactive listing. So at this point, you need to click on this remove unfulfilled inventory. You can see that I am having seven products which are having unfulfilled inventory. So that inventory is unfulfillable, but I don't know the reason. They might be unfulfillable because they are damaged unit, they are lost unit, or they might be the units which are found from discrepancies. So let's just click on this and find out the reason. So you can see that after clicking, I can see many of the units here and Amazon is telling me the reason. So you can see that for this product, there are four units that are customer damage and one unit that is defective. So the customer damage unit is the customer fault, but defective unit is supplier fault. And on the same page, when I go down, you can see that for this product, I have two units which are customer damage. And for this product, I have one unit for customer damage and one unit for warehouse damage. So here you can see that there are total of 10 to 12 units which are damaged or which are unfulfillable. So right now, if I don't take any action for all of these units, so these units will be associated with my account and they will be at Amazon FBA warehouse. So later, Amazon might gonna charge me the fee for the storage of all of these units. So here you can see that at the right side, I can see the create removal order button because these are damaged or defective units. So I cannot sell them again. So now I can only see the only option available to me is create a removal order. So by clicking on this, I can just create a removal order and these damaged units can be disposed or can be delivered to my given address as per my choice. So if I just click on create removal order and order Amazon to dispose or send me back. So Amazon will do that and I can just avoid paying high storage fee for all of these damaged units. So the same for the other products, you can see that create remove order, create remove order, create remove orders. So I can only see one option here because these units are damaged. But if these units are not damaged and can be in the condition of reselling, so Amazon can give me one more option here to resell that or release this product again. So I can just release all of those units. For example, there are five units that were lost. But now Amazon has found all of those five units. So I will be able to see all of those five units here and I can just release those five units to my listing and resell them again. 
So if you do this practice every month, so you can keep an eye on your inventory and you can avoid paying high storage fee for the inventory which will be of no use for you. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.